We're starting this spooky shopping video in easily the scariest place to purchase things. Ikea. That's right, we are at Ikea. And it's, uh, as of the time of this recording, a Saturday, so it's literally the worst time to be inside of an Ikea. But we're going in anyway, because we are brave and we need a bookshelf. You know what Ikea stands for? Go on. I killed everyone after I went there. That sounds about right. Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the girl, this is Tampa J. Howdy. And we are back again for another Spooky Shopping Channel episode. So I'm not, I know it's my famous saying, I'm not going to lie to you all. I'm not gonna lie to you all. We actually just got back from shopping at Ikea. We were in there for, I don't know, maybe an hour or so. This Maybe is an hour and a half, I'm not really sure. Jay and Chris. It surely is, yes. Um, because I did not think that there was going to be Halloween inside of that dang store. Nope. And guess what, folks? There is Halloween inside of that dang store. In fact, the next few shots that you're going to see are uh, from my phone, first of all, um, because I didn't bring in my full setup, my whole camera here inside of the store. I didn't know that we were gonna find it. I literally, we both literally just came here to buy a bookshelf. A bookshelf. And that was, that was it. Yeah. Um, which is really stupid because it's Ikea and you're always gonna buy more than what, what you came in there for. But nonetheless, did not expect Halloween in there. Um, on top, so you're gonna hear me be like very like excited about it, which I very much was, trust me. And I wasn't even sure at first if we were looking at legitimate Halloween items. Um, I was even thinking like, is this here year round? Have I just never noticed this before? Um, but no, it's, it's, it is actually Halloween inside of that store. Um, on top of that, we were chatting with one of the associates in there and they were saying, this is the first very first year for Halloween at Ikea. You heard it here first, That's folks. Awesome. You heard it here first. Ikea officially has Halloween specific items. I never thought to check Ikea for Halloween. I'm not going to lie again. Um, but I, I knew that they did like kind of fall stuff, but I never remembered seeing Halloween there before in nope. previous years. And this just kind of proves it. Um, they, that's because it's never been here. So I've never thought to look, so I've never, I, I've just never seen it. Um, but this is the first inaugural year of Halloween at Ikea. So I'm gonna show you all of the things that we found. Um, it's very potential that they're still putting stuff out. I think they actually literally just put their Halloween things out maybe like yesterday. She said today. She said, okay, so like, first it's like ever. first day, like on the shelves and it was exciting. It's yeah. very exciting. Um, so yeah, they could be adding more things. That could be it. I'm not really sure, honestly. I've done no research on it. Um, but I'll definitely look into it. If we have to come back, obviously, we will come back to Ikea. Um, but yeah, so welcome to Ikea Halloween, everybody. 2023. It is officially here. Um, on top of Ikea, we're going to go to a couple of other stores as well. Um, and just continue the search for Halloween. So when we get there, we will get there. But for now, enjoy Ikea. Enjoy the video. Thank you so much for clicking on it. Happy Halloween, everybody. It's a thousand degrees outside, but it's fine. It's, <laughs> We're shopping for the season we wish it was. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you again for watching. Hopefully you enjoy it. And uh, let's... I, I don't know. It's, we I, won that. Let's go shopping, but we just went shopping, but we're going to continue to go shopping. So let's continue to go shopping. Happy Halloween. Let's roll, roll the Ikea footage. Enjoy it. Ikea, here we are. Oh my gosh. Along with everybody else. Bookshelves, bookshelves. So many different kinds of bookshelves. I like this one. I think we've decided on the Billy. The Billy. The Billy here. Made in Sweden. Made in Sweden. We didn't tungsten, hey. I need tungsten to live. And holy moly, y'all, we have a code orange straight up in Ikea. They've got doormats. What? I about lost it in here. I got so excited. Look at all of the jack-o'-lantern faces. That's adorable, Ikea. 
How much is it? I believe it is $10. Not bad. Not bad. It is super cute. And then look over here. Boo! Ooh. Why? I, I, this was not what I expected Unless to see at Ikea today. That is Swedish for something else. Right? <laughs> That's I don't Halloween. think it is, but yeah, that's amazing. Got more code Dude. orange over here. We have some adorable jack-o'-lantern little paper lanterns. How stinking cute is that? Also the moons on the left there too. It's not like overtly Halloween, but nonetheless. Also a spooky wreath, LED wreath here. $25 for that. There's some more lights over in here too. I think this We're is trying a to spooky figure out what ghost? they are. And that's a pumpkin. I don't know. I think these might be the lights. Oh, these might yeah, be purple they're, lights. They're right. Just purple lights. It's purple. And then orange lights, like fairy lights, I'm gonna assume. The the wreath box. Oh, here's the that's uh the pumpkins. the pumpkins paper lantern. So these Spicer. are eighteen dollars. And then the lights vary depending on the size. The little ones are fifteen and then the bigger set is 22. And if the little jack-o'-lantern paper light isn't your jam, they have a Snip. big one. And how, again, stinky cute is that? It is $12. I don't know, do we need this too? That's pretty cool. Do it's we a... need this too? I try not to buy lights from Ikea because it's just a pain in the butt. That if hang. you know that then you know but it is so adorable another jack-o'-lantern light Amazing. up in here bucks. only 20 dang dollars once again i really try not to buy lights from ikea usually because like they're light bulbs if it has a light bulb and you have to put a light bulb in it do not buy it from ikea because that light bulb guess what you have to go back to ikea to, to get, get it when it burns out it and it sucks uh so if this is like I think this might be a plug in the wall thing here. Let's see. Yeah, it's a plug in. Oh, it does say. Oh, it's battery. It's it says battery. also available in artificial black tree, black, ghost, and it does say battery operated as well. So I don't know. I also learned the word for pumpkin. Yeah, there you go. Cus Kustfrer. Kustfrer. <laughs> Perfectly pronounced. And we have found the neon lights too. There is a ghost and a pumpkin here. They are $12.99 each. And there's also a spooky tree. All LED lights, by the way. It's a, they're calling it a table lamp and it's $20. Here's the boxes for everything here too. We do Second. love a good neon light, don't we, Tampa J? We do. We do. Here's another piece. It says, Happy Halloween. I really like how it looks. I like the artwork of it all. Don't worry, it's not $59.99. It's the $7 one because it's basically made out of paper. Uh, but it does have some cute little tassels on the bottom. It'd be a, cu a cute little piece to, to hang up. Also not sure if this is necessarily Halloween, but it does have a new tag on it. It's $30 and it's like a antler situation thing, wall hanging thing here that you could uh, that you could do. Um, it's definitely very spooky, spooky aesthetic. And look at all of the adorable tea light and candle things that they have here. We are in big, big trouble, folks. So there are these little votive holders in here. There is like a jack-o'-lantern face one. This one has a little mummy and it looks like the inside here is like this orange color and it, I think it comes with it too, which is really neat because it gives it that really cool like black and orange classic look. And it looks like they are going for four Dollars. Also, look how cute these little holders in here are. Looks like they're made out of metal, if I had to guess. Adorable. Could put a little tea light in there too. And they also have bigger ones. This one's a bit bigger than that one there. You could put a little bit bigger of a candle there. $9 for the big guy five dollars for the little one and look at that there's a little ghost one in here as well it has again like the orange thing on the inside but it's like a like dotted like a, like someone took a hole punch through there and made a, a cute little 
little ghost. I believe it's the same price. And lots of tea lights to buy with your cute little tea light holders. I was actually just saying to Jay a little while ago, Ikea is like one of the best places to buy tea lights because you can get them in bulk and for a really, really good price. And uh, just plain like white unscented tea lights, they have a ton here. Um, that's where I get them personally, but these are scented. Pumpkin scented. Fall scented. And then finally, there's this cute little tea light holder here too. Oh my gosh, this little spider made out of metal. So dang adorable. It is three oh, wow. dollars. Yeah, yeah, we're in trouble. And also look at the adorable little ghost candles. Oh my goodness. Four dollars unscented. So cute. Oh my goodness. So found a glass pumpkin with some foliage on the inside here. It's uh $14 glass pumpkin. Very cool. I was wondering if maybe it like lit up or something. Oh, it's just like stuck on the inside. I'm gonna assume it cut. Hold on, it doesn't come with this. Okay, so someone very smartly actually put this foliage inside of the pumpkin because yeah, there's nothing underneath it. Or you know, there's, there's you could put stuff on the inside. I thought that was really, really pretty with that in there. So there you go, but it doesn't come with the foliage. Don't get it twisted. They even have a bag of pumpkins in here. Six dollars for the pumpkins. They are made out of plastic and uh, I like the color. I think this might be the final item here at Ikea, a pillow cover. And look how cute it is. All the dancing skellies. I gotta say they are really dang cute. I love their adorable little faces. Looks like they are five or yeah, five. 99 for the cushion covers and there's the size there for you 50 by 50 centimeters or 20 by 20 inches also i just noticed this one says boo on it, it has little uh, spider webs and a cute little spider on there how darn adorable is that it's the same size 20 by 20 inches it's cute, I love it. Additionally, they do have these black cat cushions too. These are $7 and they are 16 by 16 inches. I'm not sure if this is technically part of their Halloween decor, but it's definitely Halloween-esque and adorable. That's why I love getting out. out. You never know what you're, what's gonna happen. Yeah, so legitimately, like this is kind of weird because I yeah. literally just finished the intro. <laughs> so, yeah, hooray, future editing, Chris. This one's going to be a weird one. Future J. Anyway, um, yeah, so you never know where you're going to find Halloween. You never know where you're going to find the things that you are looking for, the things that you're interested in. Um, you know, I do do a lot of research uh, for this, trying to find Halloween, seeing if it's out there in stores, all of that good stuff, but... Who knows? You never know when a store is gonna like all of a sudden just put out Halloween. So you gotta be ready. You gotta be on your toes for this sort of thing. So what a happy accident this was. Clearly the universe wanted everybody to know that Ikea has Halloween out. So, and I thought the prices were pretty darn good for the things that they had. Oh yeah. And it was it's adorable. Ikea. Pretty nice deals. Yeah, and adorable. We... Oh yeah, and we bought some stuff too. You got a haul. And so, we didn't kill everyone after. Yeah, ah, we did ah. not. No, it actually, actually I, I love Ikea. I always have a good time I've at Ikea. A lot I'm of not stuff gonna lie. Ikea. Again. A um lot of stuff. But yeah, so we, we bought some things. We'll do a haul at the end of this video. Additionally, before Ikea, we were actually at SharkCon, which Shark Camp Con J uh, did a whole video on SharkCon. So if you want to watch that, make sure you check it out. SharkCon is so much fun. I always have a blast at, at it, and I know you do too. Um, so yeah, make sure you check out that video. But we Thanks, bought babe. some stuff there too, spooky stuff. So I'll show you what we bought at SharkCon um, as well. So okay, on to the next store. And by the way, this video's coffee and or tea from McDonald's <laughs> is thanks to our good, good, good pal, Steve. Thank you so much, Steve. Steve on Twitter, our pal. Thank you so much, man. We I sure do appreciate it. you. Go on. I'm loving it. 
I'm loving it. Thanks, Steve. Thanks, Cheers. Steve. Happy Halloween. By the way, the Ikea that we went to is over in Tampa, Florida. And right now we're in Brandon, Florida, which we have been to many times so far on the channel this season. And we are once again back at again because this entire plaza in here, Brandon Regency, that's the name of the plaza. Thank you, Tampa J. Uh, has a lot of stores that I really wanted to hit. First of all, Michael's right in front of us. We're gonna pop into Michael's, see if they have anything new out for Halloween. There's a TJ Maxx. They're starting to get some of their Halloween stuff in. Bath and Body Works is all the way down that way as well as a Marshalls. And um, I think that might be it. I think there's one more store, but I, I can't so quite remember. In any case, there is a lot of uh, stores just in this one plaza here in Brandon. So uh, we're gonna check out. We're gonna check those out. Let's go. Michael's is the first stop on the uh, this tour here and uh, indeed they do have Halloween. It looks like a lot of Halloween that we have seen already, but I will go ahead and point out the things that we haven't seen. A lot more really pretty uh, Halloween foliage in general. Like I definitely don't remember these huge roses here, these like beautiful butterflies on like these branches. Or like these here, these purple flowers with the little spider on the inside is really cool. And even just the black leaves, they're like velvety. I like it. It's cool. Yeah. We have all of the planters in here too that we saw last time, but we didn't see this one, which I think is very pretty, very, very haunting. Yeah. Like Medusa-esque. Looks like this is 29 99. Oh my gosh, and I almost missed it. I almost missed it. Spooky Town has officially arrived at Michael's. Wow, this is a this is a big day for Halloween shopping, that's for darn sure. Now they don't have the display going. They just have the boxes. So, you know, I know that's like kind of the best part about the the Spooky Town is is seeing the display actually out, but uh, we can at least look at the boxes until they get it until they get it out. Oh, there is. Yeah, <gasps> How is cool. cute. Yeti Lager Bigfoot Brew House. That is adorable. It's $70. But look how Even Yeti. Ski really him really really cute that is. The Yeti looks like he is the barista of the place, which I guess makes sense. All right, I'm going to do my best to just kind of point out all of the boxes. <laughs> that they have here without like taking up too much of your time. So I apologize if I go quick, but when they actually put out Spooky Town, then we will check out Spooky Town, okay? Okay, so here's a covered bridge. That is super darn cute. Also feel free to, you know, pause the screen. If you see something that you really like, pause the screen. The prices are on there as well. So there you go. That's, a, that is, that's an amusement park thing. Dungeon of Terror. Like it looks shot. like it's a yeah, like a like a ride. That is so adorable. $180. Good gracious. There's like a spooky fountain type thing here. A wig shop, which is super fun. That is adorable. Oh, another like kind of um like theme park sort of thing. Looks like uh they're all riding on like a little pumpkin, like a little train. It's adorable. They also sell like the bottoms that you would need like to put said spooky town on. Oh yeah. So there you go. You gotta have the actual, you know, the grass or whatever right. it is. Right. Yeah, right. this, this right here. Yeah. And we are both just saying that we both would love to do this someday. We would yeah. love to build up spooky town, but we don't have money for it. I mean, look at this. This this alone is $160. You know, the the ground here, that was like $22. Like, hello. It's a lot of money. Uh, but anyway, here's another one here. Spooky house looking thing. Looks like this one is like a witch base. Got some witches flying up top there. Witches coven, super cute. Dios de los Muertos fashion, fashion show. show. That is adorable. Oh yeah, it's like a pet shop type thing. 
How cute, little skelly uh, cats and dogs, werewolf puppies. There's a Gothic Hills funeral parlor. I guess even Spooky Town needs a funeral parlor there. Looks like this is someone's house. Scarecrow Joe. Joe, and he wants you to keep out. That must be Scarecrow He's on the porch there. Joe sitting out on the porch. We have some little figures down in here. These are kind of more our speed because they're not as expensive, but even still, this is the only thing we could afford, and it's $20. And it's this Grim Reaper with a with a horse here and it has like a little guy inside of a cage there like he's a prisoner but like even these small ones like this is a tiny little pumpkin cottage thing super super cute and it's 40 ding dollars like oh my good gracious me um also a cute little witch's cottage in here too and then another spooky uh like skelly uh, cabin sort of thing. There's a disgusting mystery meat company <laughs> thing, which honestly is pretty darn funny. It's really cute, actually. I'm not gonna lie. It's, like it's just it's disgusting, figure. but it's also like really funny. I like that actually, which is weird because I'm a vegetarian, but I'm, I'm getting a, a big big dang kick out of that. And they have all of the little figurines that you need for it too, as well as like, I guess. You know, things to actually build it too. Oh, it's sticky so it max so you stuff. It. Yeah, I, I guess so. Man, this would be so much fun. Just of these little so things. Much are stuff. So much stuff. Little leaves. There's a cute little witch's cemetery thing in here. I'm being sure to include the prices in the corner on the screen. So, again, if you want to pause the screen, take a look at it all. If something catches your eye. I can't point out every single thing, but I can at least show it to you on here and we can you know point out some of our favorites also apologies for the glare as well hopefully you can you can see the things that they have super darn adorable i love it all you could definitely build quite a cute uh, little spooky village more figures in here they've got some trees uh you know just landscaping Accents, things like that, trees, lights, all the stuff that you need to make your spooky village, your spooky town, extra spooky. Yeah, so cute. So dang cute. Samantha's supernatural yard decor. I would shop there, that's mm -hmm. for darn sure. This one also has a little Yeti guy huh. on the side there. Some ghoulies. Saddling up to the bar, having a nice uh, little drink there. Creepy rotten candy. That sounds delicious. And look at this. This has a little window that we can look into here. How cute. Little spooky, spooky town. Little spooky um, uh, houses sort of thing. Everybody's like trick-or-treating. The skeletons are hanging out on the porches. Watching all the kids go. There's a little vulture in the corner. Uh, adorable. Here's another one. These are actual apartments. Phantom View Apartments. I love living in a house now, but I tell you what, I wouldn't mind living in uh, living in the um, Phantom View Apartments. Oh yeah, me too. I like the tenants that they have. And I think this might be the last box here. The House of Shadows. Sounds cool. They got a bunch of spooky plants and scary, spooky things going on in there. All right, Michael's was a huge success. Did not expect to see spooky town stuff. Oh, early. That is super exciting. Can't wait for them to actually display it though. So obviously we will keep checking back in on Michael's and they'll start putting more stuff out too, not just uh, spooky town too. So we will be back, but yippee, spooky town. That's exciting. All right, TJ Maxx is next in we go i swear people are finding halloween at tj maxx and i am i just i have not found it yet this might be like the third or fourth tj maxx that i've been to not today but like so far in general and i haven't found much there's a few pieces here like this nightmare before christmas uh throw blankie which feels very comfy by the way 30 dollars for that um but yeah i haven't just haven't really found that much yet. Also haven't seen this one yet either, this uh, big skull pillow, which is pretty cool. Uh, 17 
dollars for this one. And we struck out at TJ Maxx really and truly, but that's okay. We're walking over to Bath and Body Works next. I thought of the other store you were thinking about. Uh-huh. Kirkland's. Kirkland's, that's it's right. It's right over there. Plenty of fall in here. I did do a pretty good deep dive of uh, Bath and Body Works' uh, fall stuff. They don't have their Halloween out yet. I'm pretty darn sure. They did do a sneak preview of it though um, yesterday the 14th of July, uh, but it was only online. You could shop online and buy online and only if you were a rewards member, which I am not, and I did not. But uh, I'm excited, I saw some pictures, I'm excited for what they have, so we'll be back for whenever they put out Halloween in stores. Um, but also check it out, they have some hand sanitizers in here that they didn't have at the other one, Lakeside Life and Champagne apple honey and there's also blackberries and basil and then the pumpkin pecan waffles which I picked up the pumpkin pecan waffles and uh, I've been using it it smells amazing and I love it yep that was pretty much it at Bath and Body Works just fall stuff now we're gonna go into the Dollar Tree which of course has fall and Halloween as well but do they have any right now and look at that they surely do looks like some really cute uh, little tea tea light holders that it it's the year of tea light holders apparently these are really Ooh, I like cute i love the spooky house yeah the ghost is cute i like the lime green lettering and then yeah a little cat on a pumpkin kind of like, how much are they spend a dollar are they a dollar a dollar 25 yeah okay and we're back outside of dollar tree because they went over the pa system and asked me to not film inside of their precious precious dollar tree store so all right, That's thanks a lot, Dollar Tree, but we did see some Halloween, so there you go. Right next to the Dollar Tree is the Marshalls. We're going to try this next. Hey, maybe they'll announce me over the PA on this one, too. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, here is some Halloween that we haven't seen yet. Hooray for Marshalls. There is a really cute little ghost here that's uh, hanging on to a pumpkin. It says Boo on it. Looks like it's a tea light holder. Yeah, it's got a, a thing on its butt here. $17 for that. It's pretty cute. There's also this adorable little doggy in a pumpkin outfit. How cute is that? $17 for him as well. There's also this mummy guy. The price is on the bottom of him. I just lifted him up to see he's $20. Really cute. I've seen some pictures of him already, and he—it's just adorable, absolutely adorable. And he's got a little, a uh, little spider on his foot too. And I really like this—a very simple-looking ghost. Not mad at that. It is a light as well, and it is eight dollars. Oh boy, and this is pretty darn creepy. We thought those pumpkin faces at at home were creepy. I think this one takes the cake for me. It's got blonde eyebrows. I am not alright with this. I am not okay. That is unsettling. I am not okay to with this. To the point this. where I'm, I might like it. Twenty dollars. You can take a look at this adorable Mickey ghost. So if you've been watching the channel you know that I picked up a Minnie Mouse ghost mug. And it has a little topper on it. It is so darn cute. It's one of my favorite pickups so far. And uh, they have a Mickey one, except this one's big and it's like a cookie jar sort of thing. There you go. There's even uh, salt and pepper shakers. Jay just uh, brought this over for us. This is $13, but that's exactly what the mini ghost looks like as well. And it's $30 for the Mickey cookie jar. I had to think about it. That's a little bit more than I would be willing to pay, uh, especially because I don't necessarily have a use for a cookie jar. We have a lot of cookie jars already that I don't even use. They're just for decoration. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. $30 is a lot though, but he sure is adorable. There's some cool cups over in here too. Looks like they're going for $6. They're made out of plastic. There's some dogs with a bunch of Halloween costumes. Love that. These little candy corns, jack-o'-lanterns, and then that black cats with the pumpkins, which I gotta say, huge fan of that. I would definitely consider buying that at some point. Also have some mugs. Happy Halloween. It's got a little pug, a little pumpkin pug. Super, super, super cute. How much is it? Five dollars 
for the pumpkin pug. Jay found something really darn cool. That's like another like chip and dip sort of thing. And it's made out of plastic, which I like a lot better than the glass. I'm not gonna lie, super cute bat. How much is it? $9.99, that's a steal. The thing with Marshalls in general, I kind of feel like you have to, you have to go through every single aisle. There isn't like a seasonal aisle that I can remember. I'm sure I'm probably wrong, but like right now it's all mixed in with the quote unquote normal stuff. Like look at this ghost pillow, super cute, $20 for that. Just in with all of the other normal pillows here so you gotta look you gotta go down every single aisle this pillow set here is very subtle black on black but there's definitely skulls in the stitching there 25 dollars for the set of two pillows here i think the blankies might be it here for marshalls but there are some like look at this adorable snoopy peanuts blankie here it says happiness is i'm gonna guess halloween oh yeah that is oh, very okay. very true yeah, how adorable there's another one here that i also really like the blue color on it cute so this one's 16.99 that one's 16.99 there's another peanuts one in here which by the way we really love because our dog bella is a beagle, beagle. Same as Snoopy, so we're the always looking Snoopy at the sometimes. at the Snoopy peanut stuff. It is just so darn cute. Plus, it's pe you know it's peanuts. It's Snoopy. It's adorable. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm, I I like that. I like the blue one. Big fan of that. Bella also loves blankies, like fresh, new she blankies. She loves Mama's blankies, my <laughs> blankies in particular. So she has like seriously like ten sets of blankies at home. Probably more than that. This one's sixteen dollars, and it has like some kind of witchy stuff on there. There's like crystal balls, eyes, books. It says the magic is in you. Here's another skull blanket that I don't think we've seen yet. This one's twenty-five dollars. I really like that decorative throw blankie here. It is definitely not reversible. This may or may not be overtly Halloween too. But it is definitely very witchy and I like it and it feels very comfy. $25. There's also an arm pillow with the skulls on it and that is $30. Oh wow and good job Tampa J. He spotted these Halloween dog toys. Last year we went to, a, we well I showcased a lot of dog and cat Halloween items which I will definitely do again this year. They're always so cute. Look how adorable the little Little T-Rex is in a, in a little ghost outfit. You just heard him squeak there. There's also these uh, ghost candy corn spider kind of thing there. Super, super cute. Get your puppy dog in the spooky season. And I thought this might have been a dog toy at first because it's in the dog toy section, but someone made some decisions here. It's actually a spa headband. And look how I need this. I'm not, I don't want to wait in line at Marshall's on a Saturday. Need this, but in the future, if and when we see this, spoiler alert, I am buying it because I need this. It's a spa headband. So you put this around your head to keep your, uh, your hair out of the way when you're washing your face and all that good stuff. We're buying this in the future, hands down. Cool. And immediately right off the bat, we're greeted with a coupon here at Kirkland's. We're giving Kirkland's another try here. And indeed, we've got a lot of fall immediately inside of the door here. Yippee! Lots of pretty fall pillows, ceramic pumpkins, really big, nice uh, candles here. This pillow here, $40. Very, very pretty. I really, really like the colors. And uh, just for an example, the ceramic pumpkin here is $20. Really pretty fall things in here. Some wooden pumpkins, some wooden signs. Um, lots, of, lots of really nice stuff in here. Like this long pillow says, welcome to our pumpkin patch is $50. Yeah, these are cute. Oh, they have wooden pumpkin signs in here that have like the, the letters on them. Let's see. How much are you? $30 
for these. Oh man, so many pumpkins. I have no idea if Kirkland's does Halloween. I think it's just fall. No clue. I could definitely see them just doing fall, quite frankly. But yeah, they, they got a lot of stuff. If you want a pumpkin, a nice pumpkin, with your uh, initial on it, well, Kirkland's has you covered. Let's see, $40 for this big guy here. These little ones here, $30, and it looks like they light up as well. And I'll tell you what, I really like these little pumpkins. They're super cute. They are definitely, I think, made out of wood. These are $8. And then the tiny ones here are $6. Yeah, that's pretty cute. You could do that for a nice little uh, display of pumpkins. They're flat, so they would fit pretty darn well. It's a set of $12 three, $12.99. There's also some felt pumpkins in here too. These ones are $15 and they have little ones in here as well that are $8. And pillows, pillows, pillows all the pretty fall pillows you could want. There's some over here as well. And a bag of plastic pumpkins for $15 as well. Bunch of different kinds. And lots of wreaths hanging up here. Lots of very, very pretty fall wreaths. Look at this one. That's cool. Looks like this is going for $50. Ooh, I really like these pumpkins. I like the washcloth material of these. I actually have one of these at home, at my home, not at home, but yeah, at my home. $20 for these. There's big ones down in here for $25. I like the green. And then in this basket, there are tiny, adorable little pumpkins with the same material for $15. A bunch more fall decor. Just gonna kind of do a pan. I don't want to like point out absolutely everything. We'll be here for a long time, but I do want to show you, and it is definitely here. I show fall as well on this channel, not just Halloween, but we definitely focus more on the Halloween than we do the fall, but I love to see it. I really love to see it. It's very pretty. They have a really lovely little setup here to kind of show you what you can do with all of their pretty merchandise. I love all of the fall pillows. It's just, it makes it so cozy, so nice. I love it. And I never thought about putting the big felt pumpkin on a chair before. Like it's a pillow. How cute is that? I never thought of that. This big guy is 40 dang dollaroos but uh still i love that idea lots and lots of candles in here as well pumpkin spice and cream copper leaves and spice harvest berry tart toasted marshmallow baked apple pecan baked awesome. does it smell good i bet it does woodland retreat apple cider cinnamon mahogany woods and vanilla coconut pumpkin okay salted maple caramel and fresh brewed coffee yes that's god that sounds so good right now and a cinnamon apple donut okay i'll take one of each all right and you wanna are you ready for this bombshell folks these candles 13 dollars only 13 dollaroos for these candles and these are big candles folks they're not small, okay? These are big three wick candles, $13. Are you joking me, Kirklands? I am definitely buying one. And that's it for this plaza. We hit all the stores that we wanted to hit. And man, did we find a lot of Halloween in uh, these stores. There's some really, really good finds, I guess I, I should say. Okay, we have made it back home clearly. So let's go ahead and show you what we got today. We have quite a few things to show you today, which is very, very exciting. Um, as I mentioned earlier on in the video, we went to SharkCon today, which was so much fun. Again, highly encourage you to check out Tampa J's video on that event. We had a blast as always. And wouldn't you know it, we found some spooky stuff there. And I gotta say that conventions are usually like a great place. I mean, it's always a great place to find sure. local artists, artists from different states, um, 
selling their things, uh, one-of-a-kind items. We actually really like to go to horror conventions, and um, so you can find a lot of like one-of-a-kind, uh, specially made, spooky things at conventions. It's one of our favorite things to do and, and to, to look at. So um, that's kind of along the lines of what I'm going to show you here first. Um, so first up from Seventh Inc which is a clothing company. This is the shirt that I got. It's awesome. From them. Isn't that sick? Amazing. So I'll go ahead and insert some footage here of what Seventh Inc's booth looked like, as well as some of their merchandise options. Um, you know, you can always shop for them online as well. And the best part is, is that you're supporting a quote unquote small business. So yep. um, that's always a plus. And then this is the shirt that Jay got as well. So very cool. This one, I was eyeing this one myself too. It's really awesome. Like the skeletons so, and the pumpkins. The shirts were $35 each. Um, the, the, Thing that he had going at least at the booth was two for sixty dollars so we got a little bit off for getting two shirts so but anyway now we're gonna be spooky shirt couples I love this company he uh, they make some really awesome wow a lot of stuff uh, I've actually been eyeing this particular piece for literally years now so I was like okay this is it this is the day I'm gonna buy this shirt so shout out to them cool stuff seventh Additionally, at SharkCon, there was a vendor called Watson's Whims, and mm -hmm. we actually saw them last year. I remember their stuff. Very, very cute. Again, I will insert some footage in there of some of the things at their booth if you are interested. I'm sure they have an online store that you can check out. But let me show you what I got from them. It's actually in my hair oh, right look now. That. Look at this adorable... Lead. Just remove my hair strands there. There we go. There we go, this adorable fish clip, hair cool. clip. Isn't that the cutest stinking thing? I saw it from across the room and I was you like, did. okay, well, I have to have this today. So I just think it's so cute. I don't know why the fish bones, they get me every time. I just think it's adorable. So definitely gonna be wearing this 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 baby quite often. So yeah, that's what we picked up at SharkCon. Um, definitely, I will always say this is very important to support local artists, local businesses, things like that, um, because it's the right thing to do, y'all. It it's just is. the right thing to do, okay? <laughs> at Ikea, we got a couple of, actually we got a bunch of things at Ikea. We did get a bookshelf, which is leaning against the wall. It's over it's here. It's literally there it right there. So we'll put that, that together at some point. We got a couple of rugs for the house. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yes, we did get some Halloween things. So I got the cute little spider tea light guy here. So stinking adorable. And I realized on the ride home, uh, I don't have any tea lights. Yeah, I was. I almost so, said it. I was like, should we pick some up? We're gonna have to fix that. Whoops. Ikea would have been a good place to get those, but that's okay. <laughs> we got the tea light holders. Couldn't pass up on the little spider. Super, super cute. And then I also got the tiny little like uh, jack-o'-lantern candle tea light holder thing as well. We went with the smaller size for this one. Really adorable. And then it was a toss up between the paper lantern right, sure. jack-o'-lantern or the light dome jack-o'-lantern that we saw. And we decided to go with the dome, the dome. light, <laughs> which was a very, very hard decision. But I think ultimately it came down to how the heck are we going to hang a paper lantern like effectively, like it, I, I don't know. I, obviously, we could figure it out, but I, this easy. just seemed easier. And yeah, so yeah, and it's super, super adorable. Even though I try not to buy lights at IKEA, um, it's okay. It's worth it. Listen, it's their first inaugural Halloween at IKEA, so we had to mark the occasion by buying some things. So I'm really excited to unbox this and to light it up and it'll probably go somewhere behind us honestly oh yeah because it looks great there first ikea halloween merch i mean we gotta we gotta display that so yeah this is the first merch ever very That's very amazing. excited about that and then finally from kirkland's this is the candle that we went with the freshly brewed 
coffee and holy moly. Does that smell good? Hmm. Not an overtly fall scent, I'm not gonna lie, oh, but coffee. the Smells we good. saw a lot of coffee scents at Bath and Body Works and then we saw this one at uh, Kirkland's, so I don't know if this is a new thing or I'm just now noticing it, but coffee in terms of a candle is now apparently fall. a thing and I am definitely not mad at it. That smells so dang good, so couldn't pass it up. We also had the 20% off coupons, so... It was 10 bucks. Yeah, it was like $10. 10, for 10, a three-wick candle. Come on now. So, listen, um, Kirkland's isn't necessarily my jam. Um, to me, it, it's really expensive, and it's just, it's just not my aesthetic, personally, but I want to try my best to show you any and all of the stores that are out there for Halloween. And, um, you know, Kirkland's is, is one of them, and they do the fall. So I know someone out there will appreciate that and will like uh, the decor there. So. Oh, yeah. And with that, that is everything that we purchased today. So we will go ahead and sign it off here. Thank you so much once again for uh, clicking on the video, for watching all the way through. I surely, surely do appreciate it. Um, this is a whole entire channel in case you're new here, so we do a heck of a lot of Halloween shopping stuff. So if you like what you see and you want to keep on top of the latest stuff putting out Halloween, this could be the channel for you, and I surely would appreciate it if you subscribe. And also, yes, if you give it a thumbs up down below, that helps me out a heck of a lot too. Make sure you check out Tampa J's channel, because again, SharkCon, and he also does a bunch of spooky stuff over there too. And I think that's all we have for now. So once again, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you all later. Happy Halloween and happy shopping out there, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks, Queen later. Halloween. Thank you. King of Hearts. Oh. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. See you later. See you in the future.